feeling betrayed, and they say they got no justice. You're watching a career criminal in action. Christopher Michael Jackson, better known as the snake burglar, has slithered into numerous businesses in Riverside County. Police say he's responsible for over 70 commercial burglaries. Jackson has been arrested before. This time around, he pled guilty to 54 felony burglaries. But is he doing time behind bars? Absolutely not. The realities of the laws of this state do not allow for nonviolent criminals to go to jail. They just don't. Brian Perone is the owner of Delia's Grinders in Riverside. He's been a victim of the snake burglar. He didn't even break a window. He just took one of those windows out um, and then just like an army crawl, crawling through there to just not hit your motion sensors. He got 1600 bucks and a tablet and sweatshirt. On Thursday, Perone went to court to give a victim statement that consisted mostly of questions. What's going to stop him from escalating things, breaking into somebody's house and hurting somebody like my wife or my 11-year-old daughter? Um, I asked flat out, who's responsible for this? The Riverside District Attorney blames Proposition 47 and AB 109. On the DA's website, it states, despite the quantity of convictions, Jackson was not eligible for any prison time because of the nonviolent nature of the crimes. For victims like Brian Perone, these California laws are ridiculous. You have no doubt he'll be back at it again. Tomorrow is my guess, within a week. Jackson was sentenced to seven months in jail and released on good credit because he's been in custody since he was arrested. He was also given 12 years probation. He has to wear a GPS ankle monitor and he has to pay restitution in the amount of $158,000.